So coming to do a placement means that you, you graduate with more than just a degree. Um, along with that, you've had the experience of going out into a real world working situation and learning on a different level. It's not like learning in a lecture, it's not like reading through books, but you're learning through watching, you're learning through experience. So experiential learning is absolutely amazing. It shapes who you are as a person and it allows you to think about things in a different way. Uh, essentially, I'm working as an operating technician on the UK theatre touring shows that come up through Lancaster, of which there are many. Uh, and many of different variety, uh, especially in this last season that we've had. We've had family shows, comedians, dance, contemporary dance, musicians, actors, performers, so many different types of individuals. Uh, and I think this has been one of the greatest parts about it for me to interact with these people and to connect with people, yeah, introduce myself and, and get to know what it's like to be in the industry. Uh, the Dukes is a producing theatre and also it receives incoming shows and uh, cinema. All placements need, uh, need a level of support and we were there um, to make sure that he, he understood uh, procedures, understood different kinds of lighting equipment, for example, how the control systems work. The Department for Work and Pensions as the name suggests, uh, there's two bits of that, the work bit and the pensions bit. She's getting hands-on involvement in research, both in planning that research, designing it, carrying it out, analysing it, reporting it. My name is Damilola. Uh, the thing I have enjoyed the most in this placement um, would have to be the diverse roles, um, the diverse like things that I've been involved in. I've only got good things to say about the fast placement team. They've been really good. They've been really supportive. And even during the placement, they sort of like check in. So we have like a placement review when we start the placement. So I had that with my placement officer. And you have another one at the end of your placement, um, which I already did as well. So yeah, they've, been ju they've just been really good. Um, and there is always someone you can talk to if you have any questions or any concerns. Also, she did a project directly with a policy customer, you know, who'd feed back and challenge they we could have more of this or I'm not sure what that means. So she's had that sense of interacting with customers and, and getting a better understanding of what, how the customers want to see evidence and analysis. So presenting that evidence with impact is definitely something I think she's developed and we've helped her with. The Dukes does lots of different things. Um, from the park show that, that we're here near now, um, which is quite intensive with technical equipment, um, to, to some of the smaller things which might be to do with like play reading or a scratch night or even just a presentation in the gallery. In the future, I think, I think this will definitely help me because it's, it is like hands-on work and stuff that is done in the industry. It teaches you life skills. That's cliche, but it'll teach you what not to do just as much as what to do in life. The placements team are here to offer help throughout your placement journey, if you like. We are a team across the University of careers professionals, placements advisors, um, and we will give you help with everything, right from your CV um, and planning your career aspirations, knowing yourself and thinking about how you'd like to develop or where you'd like to go. Um, so doing a placement year puts you in this kind of, this new path where it can be a bit ambiguous, but you have to explore. You know, you have to explore the world out there, you have to explore your own connection to the world and find value in, in a type of work that means something to you. So you're not doing a prescriptive pathway, you are making your own pathway and you are deciding where you want to go. I think having that curiosity to step out and have a look at something is, is a life skill. You still have your safety net of all of the university support staff around you, people with experience who've been there, they've walked the walk. Then having that curiosity to go and explore is just life-changing.